By the time this little piggy gets to market in six months, he'll have contributed about five kilograms of methane, one of the most potent greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. But for the farm's neighbors in this small village in northern Vietnam, the problems are closer to home. All the manure, animal and human, gets washed into the village gutter. That's something local engineers are trying to fix. The number of pigs in Vietnam has almost doubled in the past decade as the country's developed. But millions of pigs produce millions of tons of slurry and hundreds of thousands of tons of methane. Vietnam's deputy environment minister says even though the country's poor, it does have to think about climate change. Vietnam isn't a big contributor to global warming, but even we have to think about the future when we plan our policies. A joint Vietnamese-Dutch project is trying to turn an environmental liability into an asset. Airtight tanks are built beneath each sty to catch the manure. The smell is almost eliminated and the slurry can be recycled. It's a simple construction which has proved a money spinner for local builders. So far I've built about a thousand of these biogas digesters. The demand is very high and I'm positive I'll be staying in this business in the future. Bacteria gobble the slurry, killing harmful germs and releasing the methane which is piped into the house for cooking and lighting. The slurry becomes a safe fertilizer which can even be fed back to the same animals. The cost is small, it usually pays for itself within two years, and the benefits are obvious according to one happy farmer from Tamsa village a few kilometers north of Hanoi. Since we got the biogas plant, there's no pollution here, and we don't buy any gas or firewood for cooking. We also use it for lighting when there's a power cut. I save about $30 a month. What this project has done has taken an existing technology, improved it and rolled it out nationwide. Now the organizers hope it can spread across Asia, making a big contribution both to development but also to helping to control global warming. Bill Hayton, BBC News, Hanoi.